Welcome everybody to Linear Algebra. My name is Trevor and I'm an assistant professor educator here at the University of Cincinnati. And I should mention, my name is still pronounced Trevor. It's got a weird F in it. You might have noticed from the syllabus. You can blame the Welsh people for that. But if you're going to pronounce it correctly in your heads, and it's an online course, so this is very important that you have this correct, you're just pronounced Trevor. Now, I'm very excited for this course. Linear algebra is perhaps my, my favorite subtopic within mathematics. I'm always requesting to be able to teach the linear algebra course, and I really like it. I like it for a few different reasons. The first is that linear algebra applies really widely. It is one of the most powerful tools within mathematics. And one of the reasons for this is that with linear systems, and we'll see what those are relatively soon, we know an enormous amount. We have an enormous amount of mathematical ability to solve linear systems and to say a very large amount about it. This is in contrast to nonlinear systems, which can be very challenging, and they're, they're mathematically difficult to get a lot of good information about it. So what we often do in other fields of mathematics or in any number of applied fields is that we try to have linear systems. We want to have linear systems because that is where we're comfortable with. And it's, it's such an extreme level that, that often what we will do is we'll have some system that is complicated that we don't understand, and we will approximate it by a linear one, which is nice and that we do understand. So in this course, we're gonna develop a whole bunch of really powerful tools that are gonna apply really, really widely across a whole bunch of different disciplines. I also really like linear algebra because it's got a very beautiful interplay between different worlds. And what I mean by this is that on the one hand, there's an algebraic world where you've got numbers and equations and you're doing algebraic manipulations like adding things and multiplying things and so forth. And then in this other world, this geometric world, you're drawing pictures and you're visualizing things and you're seeing transformations. And what's nice about linear algebra is that these two worlds that, that seemingly are different are very deeply interconnected. And that there's a lot of intuition where you can have a, a visual picture of what you think should occur and intuitively make sense to you sort of geometrically, and then it matches some algebraic thing. And there's this really wonderful interfacing and, and comparison between these two different worlds that goes all the way through linear algebra. And finally, I really like linear algebra because linear algebra is a great course for learning how to be a mathematician. We want to develop our ability to do computations, but also to be able to prove claims and to understand concepts and to visualize things. And linear algebra is a really good pacing and a, and a really good interplay between different elements that I think is one of the best courses for learning how to think as a mathematician. So I'm very excited about this course and I hope that you are as well. Now, I want to say a couple administrative things as well. First point is this. If you found this video, you're probably all on Blackboard, and Blackboard is going to be the sort of central launching spot for all the different components in our course. We're gonna have a whole bunch of online videos, kind of like this one, online quizzes, announcements, grades, everything that you're going to need is gonna be through here. But there's gonna be a couple other spots we're gonna leave Blackboard, and they're important as well. The first of these is for our online homework system, which is created by the publisher for our course, Pearson. And what this means is that you need to do one of two things. You either need to buy a version of the textbook that, that comes with an access code. If you get the one from the bookstore, it will come with that access code. So you need to get a version of the textbook that comes with an access code, or if you don't want to pay for a physical book, you can go through, and I'll have instructions for how to do this, you can go through the Blackboard link and you can pay Pearson directly for an ebook as well as access. So that's a little bit cheaper, but you don't get the physical copy. But either way, you have to end up with an access code so that we can go through and deal with all of our online homework. And then we're also gonna have a bunch of other different components. We're gonna have an online discussion forum where we can collaborate on more challenging problems. We can have online office hours, a whole bunch of different things. Now, I wanted to warn you that online courses can be a little bit challenging for some students. 
And I think that partly it's that when you're in a typical face-to-face -face class, most students, for the most part, are gonna show up every single day and you have three hours of really structured time where I'm right there in your face, I'm watching you, and I'm either lecturing to you or getting you to work on problems. And it's really structured and so it's, it's easy just to go through the motions of doing that given the structure. But in the online context, that doesn't exist quite as much. And I'm gonna create a lot of scaffold and a lot of structure in this course, but the impetus is a little bit more on you to create your own schedules, to find your time where you're gonna be watching the videos, to find your time where you're gonna be working on problems. And mathematics, perhaps in particular, is a subject that is learnt by doing. Uh, you can get a little bit out of watching me, and we're for sure gonna be doing some components of that, but the most important part is you working away, trying to internalize concepts, trying to put things together, trying to do calculations, trying to prove statements. You're gonna to need to be working on problems and a lot of problems, and it is through that process that you're gonna become better mathematicians and get a good mark in this particular class. So you need to find that motivation within yourself. You need to find the motivation to have the time to sort of go through the material. You have to have the motivation and that attitude to be really active, to be really engaged in it. You're not just sort of superficially listening to me while you check Facebook. You're not just sort of reading some solutions you found online to a problem. You're actively trying to make sense of what you see. You're trying to do these problems yourself. And then if you get stuck on them, if, if things are not clicking very well, that you're reaching out to your fellow classmates and to me and that you're getting the help that you need to sort of take an active role in your own education. And that's the big difference. That is the major difference, major, but difference maker between online and in person is that you have that responsibility to be an excellent student yourself. And I'm gonna create as much scaffolding and as much help as possible, but I can open the door and ultimately, you're gonna be the one that has to go through it. So I hope you're excited about this course and I am looking forward to interacting with you more in the coming weeks.